So I decided to dedicate a video towards Bond because season 3 is almost wrapping up and it's sad to say but we will not be seeing Bond for the rest of season 3 and possibly in the beginning of season 4 we will not be seeing Bond as well. He'll probably show up midway in season 4 so I feel like we should give a spotlight for Bond in this video just to dedicate it towards him and if you guys haven't realized Bond is one of my favorite characters in 7 Lily Sins. You guys could probably tell by my channel art or my channel photo time to time. You guys can tell I like Bond a lot but he's not the only only character I like a lot. King as well is one of my favorite characters. Those two go at it as my favorite character in Seven Deadly Sins. If I had to choose one, I don't really know who to choose, but those two are the people I like the most. But yes, in this video, we will be talking about Bond, his immortality, how strong he is, and we're just going to be talking about Bond in general because I feel like he deserves his own video. I'll probably do it on King later on, I don't really know, but in this video, we're going to be talking about Bond. So I'm going to start this video off with a spoiler and if you guys don't want to hear any of that, you're more than welcome to click off the video. But if you guys haven't been up to date with the 7 Deadly Sins manga, this actually happened a while ago so you don't have to be up to date to know this, but Bond has lost his immortality. I wouldn't actually say lost, he more like gave it away. He didn't actually give it away but he gave his fountain of youth power to Elaine when she was on the verge of death so that he can revive her, reimburse her so she can stay alive. So therefore he lost his immortality. And to me what actually made Bond's character so special and i think i speak for a lot of people is that he was immortal a lot of people did like that aspect of bond i feel like that's taken a huge chunk away from his character and that's not to say that bond needs the immortality that's the only way he could be strong it's just like bond was very special for that reason like if you guys haven't noticed throughout the whole story of seven deadly sins not through the whole story because he's not in world right now obviously but through the previous story of seven deadly sins like the earlier seasons bond immortality is what pretty much made him him he was pretty much much powerful from being immortal there were so much scenes where bond's immortality was the key factor to even making scenes good like for example when Esther Rosa was fighting against Meliodas with the Ten Commandments and they're just abusing no him. seven deadly sins member in that moment was able to do anything against the Ten Commandments and Esther Rosa because they're just way too powerful they all had to watch their captain get attacked get beaten get stabbed they couldn't do anything but then we seen one person step up to the task to try to save their captain and that was Bond. Bond was the one person who actually tried to save Meliodas and the reason for that is because he knows he's immortal so that scene when Bond tried to save his captain that reckless fighting style because he always has that immortality to fall back on really made me feel Bond was special. He really had something about him that no one else had in that show and he had to be reckless. He didn't have to care about dying. He didn't have to do any of that stuff and that's what made him so cool. That's why I love Bond so much when he was immortal but that doesn't change the fact that I still love Bond a lot now because even without his immortality he's still very very strong to the point where he's able to go up against the top tiers of the show and that's due to his recent transformation from Purgatory which a lot of you guys should be familiar with if you don't know what purgatory is i'm gonna sum it up real quick so basically bond was in purgatory for years upon years i believe correct me if i'm right one second in the real world is like a year in purgatory so something like that just i don't know bond was in purgatory for years like a lot of years when i say a lot i mean a lot so pretty much purgatory's environment it's air whatever it is it's pretty much a composure of extreme cold extreme heat so it's pretty much making it so that no human is able to exist there if you are a human and you enter purgatory you're pretty much gonna be evaporated so bond being a human that was happening then for the first couple of years he was in purgatory but like i said the immortality plays a key factor into bond's character which allowed him to eventually get used to the environment of purgatory because he is immortal making his body suffer through the worst in order to make his body cope with the environment of purgatory making him stronger so purgatory gave him a huge i mean a huge durability boost because we've seen him come out of purgatory and fight one of these strongest guys which was the demon king that possessed meliodas's body so Bond after Purgatory, in my opinion, is definitely one of the strongest guys in the show. In terms of the Seven Lily Sins ranking, I don't really know where I rank him. I probably rank him third or fourth probably third to be safe but i'm a person who thinks king and bond is heavily debatable who's stronger you could say bond i understand if you say bond you could make an argument for king i could understand as well but Escanor, the ultimate one hands down takes number two meliodas demon king form hands down takes number one 
but that's pretty much it for how strong i think bond is and pretty much how strong bond is in general and his immortality so if you guys are new to my channel make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe if you guys want to see another one of these videos on a different character more likely king then tell me down below but thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video peace